Welcome to my channel. Hello kids! I'm your teacher Zen. Welcome to science class. Science 3, quarter 2, week 8, day 3. Our learning objective. By the end of this lesson, the learners should be able to explain how caring for the environment enables living things to survive. Today, we're going to study about how caring for the environment enables living things to survive. Why is it important for living things to live in a healthy environment? How the environment enables living things to meet their basic needs and survive? What action have you taken recently to help keep the environment healthy for living things? No matter how simple their action may seem, all these add up in helping to keep the environment healthy for living things. Have you been to a forest before? If you have been to a forest before, what does it look like? If not, have you already seen a movie that featured a forest in one of the scenes? Forest is an environment where tall trees, wild animals, and many other kind of living things live. What living things and non-living things do you see in a forest? In this lesson, you will explain how caring for the environment enables living things to survive. Acid rain Fruits that they sour are acidic. The acids in fruits are weak acids. Strong acids are harmful. Some of these acids are used to clean toilet bowls and floors. What do you think happens when acid mix with rain? Acid rain forms when smoke from factories and cars mixes with the rain. Acid rain can harm plants and animals. Now, let's proceed to egg group activity. Same group as of yesterday activity. Perform activity number 3 to learn more about how caring for the environment enables living things to survive. You will read a short story about a change that threatens a forest. Recall the two illustrations of clean and dirty rivers they have been shown previously. How does pollution affect the plants and animals living in a forest environment? Before the activity, prepare the needed materials. Use alternative materials if any of those suggested are not available. 
Do a free activity discussion focusing on the lesson active objective. Reminders thus, write your observation and answer in your notebook. Work in groups for the activity but have them answer the activity guide questions individually in your notebook. Ask question before you perform the activity. Activity number three, how does caring for the environment enable living things to survive? Materials needed, notebook, pens, or pencils. Here's a short story. There was once a once healthy forest that is now a sickly site. Acid rain fell in the forest. Acid rain made the trees and animals unhealthy. The trees were once green and lush. Now they are bare and brown. Their leaves used to be a source of life. Now, they have withered and fallen. The forest floor that was once soft and dumped in is now hard and dry. The stream that was once clear and sparkling is now a muddy, lifeless puddle. The animals that once called the forest home are struggling to survive. The mammals, once strong and healthy, are now weak and skinny. The birds, once full of song, are now silent and still. The forest, once a place of beauty and life, is now an unhappy piece of land. Question 2 Question 3 4 3. Discuss with your groupmates different ways of bringing the forest back to health. Question 5 And Question 6 Question 1. What is the importance of a healthy environment for living things? A healthy environment enables plants and animals to meet their basic needs and survive. What happened to the forest? The forest as well as the living things that live there is becoming unhealthy because of acid rain. How did acid rain affect the trees? Acid rain caused the leaves of trees to wilt or wither. Some have turned brown and bare and are dying. What happened to the animals that live in the forest? The animals are sick, weak, and struggling to survive. Acid rain made the plants, which serves as food to the animals, unhealthy. What would happen to the forest if the acid rain stopped? 
if the acid rain stop, then the forest and all the living things that live there will become healthy again. What could people do to help the forest recover? Acid rain is caused by smoke coming from cars and factories. When this problem of smoke emissions is addressed, the acid that mixes with the rain decreases or stops. When the rain is safe again, the forest begins to recover. It will also help to plant new trees to bring an unhealthy environment back to being healthy. Care is needed. How does caring for the environment enable living things to survive? Caring for the environment includes making sure that it is enabled to provide for the basic needs of living things. Simple actions such as segregating trash, avoiding littering, and joining cleanup activities show care for the environment. Realization When the pollutants are removed, the environment can recover. Plants and animals are able to meet their basic needs in a healthy environment and people can take action to protect the environment. Now for the evaluation class, read each situation, choose the letter of the correct answer. Now for the answer key class. For number 1, it's B, 2B, 3B, 4B, and 5B. Good job, kids! Thank you for listening. See you next time!